I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a challenge question on optimization. The question here is, an isosceles triangle is inscribed in a circle of radius 10 centimeters. Find the value of vertex angle that maximizes the area of the triangle. This seemingly simple question is really very difficult to answer. So, so I like your full attention to understand what we are getting into. Now here we have a circle and within the circle we are talking about inscribed isosceles triangle. So let me let me just sketch one here. So I'm just making some guidelines so that I can make a meaningful diagram here, right? So let us say that is the isosceles triangle which is inscribed inside a circle. Now the question here is that an isosceles triangle is inscribed in a circle of radius 10 centimeters. Find the value of vertex angle that maximizes the area of the triangle. So we assume that we need to find uh, this vertex angle, right? So we'll call this the angle which we need to find and that is the isosceles triangle. Now this is really a complicated question and therefore I'll prefer to use a general value for its solution so that you know it can be applied in all different questions which are related right so what I'll assume here is we'll work with radius r instead of 10 well at the end you can substitute r with 10 and write down the solution right so here is our triangle and we say that uh, let us say this is the center of the triangle in that case the radius given to us is 10 centimeters which I am at present taking as R. So we'll provide you with a general solution and we need to find the maximum area of inscribed isosceles triangle within the circle of radius R. Okay, How do we find that? Okay, What we will do now here is let us uh, say this point is connected with with the vertex the other vertex and what I will assume here is let the angle be uh, let me take this angle as theta so the vertex angle will be 2 theta so like that since it is an isosceles triangle this perpendicular here will actually divide the vertex correct now let's try to find two things one for area of the triangle, we need to find what base is and what the height is. Now, how do we find the height? Okay. Now, we know this distance is r and this distance will also be r. So, what we will do now here is we'll drop a perpendicular from the center to the side of isosceles triangle. So, one of the equal sides. Okay. So, if that is the perpendicular, then we get a small right triangle. Now in this small right triangle, R is the hypotenuse, correct? If R is the hypotenuse, theta is the angle, then how much is this length from here to there? It has to be, this is the adjacent side, and so it will be R cos theta. So this length here is R cos theta, correct? Now, from the symmetry, this length here is also r cos theta. So the combined length for the side of the triangle is 2r cos theta. So let me write down this length as 2r cos theta, right? So this length becomes 2r cos theta. Now we also know that the triangle has this altitude. Now if we consider this right side triangle, in that case theta is the angle right there. Hypotenuse is 2r cos theta. In that case what is the base and what is the height? Let me name this ABC for example and let me call this point as uh, let's say P and let this point be O. Let this be M here. Okay, that's fine. It helps. Now what is PC equals to. Now PC is equals to, that is the hypotenuse, this is the angle, opposite side. 
sine of this correct so it is 2r cos theta times sine theta so that becomes pc how about bc which is the base so bc which is equals to 2 times pc that is the base for us so that will be 2 times all this will be 4 r cos theta sine theta perfect now let's look into the height of the triangle what is the height of the triangle well the height is a p for us right so we see a p is the height now height is the adjacent side of angle theta right triangle with hypotenuse 2r cos theta so that should be times cos theta right so it is 2r cos theta times cos theta so we could write this height as a p equals to 2r cos square theta so we have done just enough to find the area of triangle and now we can say area of triangle ABC uh, is equal to what area of triangle ABC is equals to half base into height right it is half base times height now base for us is BC we know BC is 4r cos theta sine theta right so we'll write this as half times 4r cos theta sine theta and the height is AP and AP is 2R cos square theta so it is 2R cos square theta uh, we can simplify it a bit 2 and 2 cancel we are left with 4R square and cos cube theta sine theta so that is how we can write area in terms of angle theta right r is the radius of this circle which is constant so we finally get the expression for area now once we know the area then it is kind of simpler we can find derivative right and then equate that derivative to zero to find the critical number to find derivative we can ap apply the product rule right so we'll have 4 r square is a constant now product rule derivative of cos cube theta will be 3 cos square theta times minus sine theta times sine theta right plus cos cube theta times derivative of sine theta which is cos theta perfect now so this derivative uh, we can simplify a bit we can say this is 4r square and what do we have here 3 cos square theta sine square theta with a minus sign right so we have uh, minus uh, 3 cos square theta sine square theta and here we get plus cos to the power of 4 so it is cos 4 cos 4 theta good now we say that for critical number this derivative should be zero right so for critical number that should be zero right so so we know that the derivative for the area as a function of theta should be zero now to equate this to zero uh, what we should do is we can actually factor out cos square theta so we'll get uh, sine square theta times okay we could do that so let me uh, let me rewrite this as as I'm just thinking where to go from here since oh, we have very limited space let me push the page a bit okay so I'll squeeze in one more line here so we could write this as cos square theta is common right and then we are left with cos square theta I'm writing this first minus 3 sine square theta perfect so that is the expression which we get for uh, the first derivative now we need to equate this to zero and find a solution so what we'll do is we'll use this little space here and then solve further so clearly for this expression to be zero this part 
cos square theta minus 3 sin square theta could be 0, right? So that is one way to solve it. So let's begin from here. We say cos square theta minus sin square theta, 3 sin square theta, 3 sin square theta equals to 0. So that means we'll take sin square theta to the other side. So we get 3 sin square theta equals to cos square theta dividing by cos square theta we get sin square theta divided by cos square theta equals to 1 over 3 right so we cross multiply now sin square theta over cos square theta is tan square theta okay, good job is 1 over 3 and that gives us uh, tan theta as equals to plus minus square root of 1 over so finally we got a critical number so we are looking for theta which can give us plus minus square root of 3 and we clearly know what that value is right so we know this value we you we can make this special triangle i hope you remember this special triangle which has the sides 1 2 and square root of 3 you can use calculator also right now in this particular case we are looking for tan theta as 1 over square root 3 that means that's the angle which is pi by 6 right so pi by 6 is the angle which is the critical angle which can give us at this time 1 over square root 3 correct now since we are looking for an angle which is less than 180 degrees that is the only solution for us right rather we are looking for an angle which is yeah because this theta here is half of the angle so it is less than 90 right so it is an acute angle so that gives us solution as critical number theta equals to pi by 6 perfect so so that is how we get our angle right now to prove that this angle will give us maximum what we have here is is the tan ratio right so if i take a angle which is less than pi by 6 in that case you'll find that this value is positive but if i take it more than pi by 6 this is going to be negative so you can test this out so basically what i'm trying to say here is you could test the derivative itself uh, which is let me leave this for you to do uh, so you test the derivative for the points on either side of pi by 6 right so take an angle which is less than pi by 6 and take an angle which is more than pi by 6 and then test so let us say this is pi by 6 for you so you can take an angle which is more than pi by 6 let us say pi by 3 and less than pi by 6 let us say pi by 8 right and then test this derivative so what you need to test is you know these are positive terms right cos square theta minus 3 sine square theta is what you need to test right let us calculate the value of cos square theta minus 3 sine square theta for pi by 8 so we have cos of pi by 8 now equals to we need to square this right square this minus 3 times within bracket let me write this time sine of pi by 8 pi by 8 bracket close square is equal to we get a positive number positive 0.41 so it is positive that means increasing right and now let us test for pi by 3 so we have within brackets cos of pi by 3 bracket close bracket close to square it minus three times within bracket sine of pi by three so we have pi divided by three bracket close and square is equal to minus two so we get minus two which is negative so it is decreasing you see that so for the angle of pi by six we do get maximum right so we get maximum for pi by six so that is how we can show that for angle theta 
this theta as pi by 6 we do get maximum now the question here is find the value of vertex angle that maximizes the area of the triangle now this theta is half of that vertex angle right so this theta is half of the vertex angle right therefore our answer should be our answer is 2 times theta or 2 times pi by 6 and that gives you pi by 3 so pi by 3 is the angle at the vertex which is 60 degrees that gives you maximum area of the inscribed isosceles triangle within a circle right so so what we get here is as our answer as pi by 3 or or you could say the angle is 60 degrees right so basically it's an equilateral triangle so equilateral triangle inscribed within the circle will actually give you the maximum area right for any radius any radius so you could have taken r or 10 or any radius it is it doesn't really matter right so that is kind of very important to understand i like you to go through this video understand the concept especially how we derive the formula for area this is the most difficult part then it'll be easy for you to do similar questions based on triangles and circles i hope you find it interesting i'm anil kumar subscribe to my videos and learn a lot thank you and all the best